Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. We have got a transformational mindset coach and motivational speaker in the house, Fiona Drake. Thanks so much for being with us. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank so you. nice. You are a transformational coach on a transformational Tuesday. What does transformation mean to you? Well, it's been a huge journey for me. Mm -hmm. And um, I suppose what I've tried, well, not tried, but... Um, I have transformed, and certainly in the last two to three years, with a huge transformation in the last year in so many different ways, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So I've been on a huge um, journey, certainly for the last two or three years. Mm -hmm. And for me, I've now stepped into the person that I always could have been. And it's really, really beautiful for me to have experienced that. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? I think everybody wants to do that, right? So no. how did you do that? I think... Um, the universe coaxed me and cajoled <laughs> me <laughs> into the this. It the always does. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I listened to that. And actually what tends to happen is when you force things, you know that the door isn't going to open. But actually, all of a sudden, these synchronicities come along. And um, before you know it, you're in a different world. Mm -hmm. And things that you would never, ever have experienced or imagined actually start to then get into alignment so it's yeah it's been an incredible what journey. was one of those things for you personally um i think there's been a number of things from a physical transformation the last two years i've shed four stone after being a how much is that <laughs> <laughs> in fact I, I've, I've prepared this, so 56 pounds Whoa, Congratulations. Wow. Yeah. Wow. um so because I'd done the work on my mental and emotional well-being, mm -hmm. I then wanted to sort of square the circle and work on my physical aspect as well. So that was a transformation. And because I'd worked as a sales and marketing director um, in a quite a masculine world, uh, when I was working in that world, it was, I had lots of masculine energy. I did things by force and control. And then what happens is in life, you then get a little bit of a message. If you're not prepared to do something, then your body gives you a little bit of a wake-up call. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I did listen to that. And that then set me on a journey of self-discovery to realize that there were different and smarter and better ways of doing things. And so what I do now in what I do is essentially I'm the woman I needed two to three years ago to show amazingly powerful, successful women that there is a different way. You don't have to use force and control. So what is the common block, if you will, in these women that is keeping them from being limitless or reaching their full potential? I think there's what I'm finding now, certainly for myself, it was about maintaining and upholding a reputation and doing it in the best way that I knew how. But actually, that isn't sustainable. And so what you then get is burnout and overwhelm. Um, I got to the point where I was sort of working 65 hours a week. I was not eating the right things, not seeing friends, not socializing. And so what I did was I almost put everything into performing and succeeding, but actually then realizing there was a better way of doing things like using your intuition, getting into flow, working with things like the law of attraction and the law of vibration, which is what I work with now. And that's the core essence that we can now essentially create the life that we desire. So let's talk about that. So today we're talking about how life is a mirror, okay? And we know it's, it can outpicture in horrific ways. It can, it can get in that flow state mm -hmm. you're talking about. So take us through how, um, clearly you, it's not like, okay, first, do you believe that? Clearly you do. <laughs> how now do you get into that flow state where you see life as a mirror and you're actually in flow and, and more demonstrating what you do want to demonstrate? I think it's first of all understanding what in flow is and identifying it. Um, for me, it's about having that toolkit at your disposal that you can reach into and go to that you know can raise your vibration. Because we don't always wake up in the morning, do we? Mm -hmm. Fabulous and are in alignment. And actually, you can wake up one day and the weather's not so good, you've stubbed your toe. Mm -hmm. You can actually make a choice every day mm -hmm. to have an amazingly brilliant day. So you can choose it. You can then raise your vibration by maybe listening to music. You asked me the question at the beginning of the show about what I do in the morning. And that sets me up in the morning and I can really walk out of the front door with my best foot forward. So um, it's about having that toolkit, I think. Um, and believing that actually we are abundant beings and everything will always work out. Mm -hmm. Even though sometimes we don't understand it and we can be sometimes at a loss and not knowing which way to go. 
if you lean into that, which is what I have done, and taking this leap of faith, so after 29 years walking away from the corporate world, the pension, the nice salary, the company car, to realise I now have a different path and a different purpose has been a massive transformation to me. And it's made me realise the reason why I went through all of that, and I didn't understand it at the time, was to get me to this point mm. now. Chills, right? Yeah. I love that. Always perfect, always yeah. perfect. Go ahead. You know, one of the challenges that I've had, um, and I wonder what your experience has been, is, um, you know, for a long time I struggled with law of attraction because I felt very strongly that I needed to see it exactly the way I wanted it to, to happen, and I needed to visualize it exactly the way I wanted it to manifest. And that, for me, was a very stressful mm -hmm. kind of experience. And sometimes I would notice that even if I did that right, sometimes something better would come and sometimes something Absolutely. different would come. But how much of it do you need to really see in advance in order for it to unfold in the way that you want, and how much of it is something different than that? I think you ultimately have to start to see because that starts the process. So your thought creates the feeling and it's the feeling that puts out the vibration into the energetic realm. But ultimately, have your ideals, have your vision, but be prepared that you don't need to know the how and actually the universe could bring you something even better. So be open to that, be playful with that because the minute, again, going back to what I did in my career with force and control, if we then start to bring in force and control with what we manifest, guess what? The vibration is going to be force, control, neediness, mm. and that's what you're attracting in. Mm. So actually just releasing that resistance and being open to the belief that whatever is meant for you will not pass you by. Oh, mm -hmm. so good. Thank you for sharing that, Fiona. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow you. Um, I'm on Facebook, and you can find me um, on Facebook as Law of Attraction Expert UK. Uh, on Instagram, Fiona underscore Drake underscore coaching. And you can also find me on LinkedIn as well under Fiona Drake. Beautiful. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll much. be right back with more. Good morning, Lawland.